This is the plywood DSLR system I had constructed a couple years back when I got my Skywatcher mount. And it was a little bulky and kind of did okay, but it, it could do better. And the guide scope was an old guide scope that I had and was using it. So I have changed it now to a 3D system that, uh, print, that I printed out that will make the weight a lot less and fit better on the Skywatcher mount. There's a plywood mount in at the field, but like I said, it's going to change. This is the new system that I'm doing, and uh, yeah, it's going to work out, I think, a lot better. Hello everyone. This is a project I did about five, maybe seven years ago. I built this cooling sensor system, or cooling system for trying to help the DSLR sensor be cooler. And what it does is it uh, fits into the recess area that the flip screen goes into. And I got the idea from uh, a YouTube video from a guy in Australia that did the same thing, but he uh, had a couple parts to his video and he showed a parts list. So it was very informative and that's what I built it from. As you can see, it's got a readout of the temperature and you can change the settings uh, on the temperature. It's reading in Celsius right now. <clears throat> so the other thing, this DSLR camera system was on a plywood platform that I had also constructed. And I did that back when I got my uh, Skywatcher mount. <clears throat> the, the, the camera was being used on my SCT and my Newtonian telescopes. And I wanted to take some wide field, so I wanted to use a camera lenses on that. So I designed the uh, the dovetail system and the support brackets for 3D printing, and had them printed and constructed it to support the metal frame system that the was being used on the plywood. So. It seems to have worked out okay. I printed a, a brace for the front to catch the, the rods. And then there, there's two supports here that catch a plate that catches the metal plate for this system. So uh, there is a support for a lens and it comes up and it's just like a Y shape. Doesn't have an overall uh, ring to, to help hold down the lens but of course it's pretty rigid connected to the camera so you don't have that and this is a USB hub that I put in I got it on velcro I got it removable so I can use it on another similar project just using a ZWO camera with a camera lens these ports are charging ports that I used to use for the USB type do straps uh, but I quit using those because I had two different brands and both of them had issues with the on-off switch and the three controls for temps. And uh, I did away with them and went back to using my 12-volt do-not strips. And I can actually make these out of using resistors. I have done that, and they work pretty well. Let's move around. <coughs> Now on this side of the mount, I wanted to show you that this strap right here is a eyeglass holder for around your neck and it has a slide 
tightener on it so you can you know just slide it and tighten it down and like I said I ran all the cables for the USB hub out this way and I used the velcro to, to tighten them up here <clears throat> the uh, camera I put a heat shrink on the the USB plug that goes into the camera to help keep it straight and not wear out and also put a removable strap system here you just pull this together and it un unplugs it's the kind of thing you would see if you were wearing one of those ID badges around your neck that could be removed without uh, taking it off your neck uh, the <clears throat> cooling system does have a sensor that I came and and affixed with uh, electrician's tape right here so it's close to the sensor but it's on the outside of the camera so it's reading the temperature of the camera's frame now I did put a new guide scope on this system this is a ZWO 120mm mini guide camera and this is a guide scope uh, and it's by SVVONY and I looked at a lot of online YouTube videos and a lot of people were using this combination more so than others the digital camera has this uh, bracket here that fits into the flash shoe of the camera and its brand name is over here as you can see I put an extra thumb screw on, on it just to maybe see if that would help align the guide scope but that didn't work so I may be taking that out. So uh, that's pretty much what I've done. I hope to have some clear skies real soon to check this all out. Clear skies, y'all.